Hi, it's great to have you here. I'd imagine you're at least curious about this DevSecOps thing. What it's for, how it works, and why it's such a big deal. Well, you've come to the right place because that's exactly what this course is going to cover. But let's back up a step first. As I'm sure you've already noticed, the name DevSecOps is really DevOps with the Sec of security squeezed in the middle. That obviously means that the big idea behind the DevSecOps philosophy is that security should be integrated into every stage of the DevOps process. Why? Well, the various elements that are often closely associated with DevOps, including the agile methodology, the cross-team culture, and the continuous integration and continuous delivery practices, are powerful tools for automating your deployments so they'll be faster and more reliable. All that's great for getting the very latest versions of your application code out to your users. But what about security? Are speed and automation compatible with security? Will security controls actually get in the way of traditional DevOps by slowing it down? DevSecOps is designed to answer those questions. It's not just about adding security to your DevOps operations, but about introducing an agile, cross-team culture and CICD mindset to the way you apply security. And that's what this course is really about. To get you in the right mood, let's imagine you're working for a small company that's just recovering from a nasty attack against their application code. You woke up one morning to discover that Instead of logging in to get access to your service, your users were actually unknowingly submitting their authentication credentials and financial information to a hacker website disguised as your application. Your code had been intentionally corrupted. Not good. You've cleaned up most of the mess and everything appears to be working properly now, but you're desperate to ensure that such a disaster never happens again. So you're looking to integrate DevSecOps principles end-to-end -end into your code-to-deploy infrastructure. You'll remember how I quickly mentioned that adding even an automated layer of security to the end of your pipeline isn't all that helpful. Here's why that is. Suppose the vulnerability you discover just minutes before a scheduled deployment plays an important role in one of your complex, multi-tiered core modules. There won't necessarily be a one-click solution. You may be forced to go back and painstakingly refactor all kinds of elements to replace the problem module. Wouldn't it have made more sense to catch and correct the problem much earlier in the process? The solution, as they say, is to shift left, meaning that you should visualize your pipeline running from left to right. It might start with planning sessions and then in the real world, a search through public Git repos for usable code. Well, the shift left mentality guides us to incorporate security considerations into that planning and code search. But more than planning, shift left also means that we build security testing into the automated CI CD process. So before your code enters the build stage, it's going to be scanned for known vulnerabilities and problems like hard-coded authentication keys. What those scans are, and how they're actually used, will be described more in later modules of this course. You'll find demos and deep dives for applying security scans and testing using actual real-world packages in Pluralsight's Fundamentals of DevSecOps Learning Path. As I've said, this course is focused on introducing you to the core concepts lying behind the practice. The key takeaway here is that automated testing should be deeply integrated into every step of the DevOps process. When configured properly, this will save you time and energy, and almost certainly save you money too, likely making compliance with regulatory frameworks like GDPR, CCPA, or HIPAA much easier. But most importantly, shifting left will do a much better job protecting you from potentially business-killing and privacy-ending attacks. Making this effective in your organization 
will require some cultural buy-in. DevSecOps works best in organizational cultures that already use agile and DevOps practices, regularly push frequent releases out to deployment, and are already invested in pipeline automation. That doesn't mean these are hard prerequisites, but it probably does mean that you should proceed more slowly if you're building your culture of automation from the ground up. Does adding DevSecOps mean you'll need to create a whole new team to manage it? Not if you do it right. Puppet's 2021 State of DevOps report suggested that it's not necessarily helpful to even think about DevSecOps as a distinct team within your organizational structure. Instead, security practices should be included in the work of every team and embedded at every point along the pipeline. The report suggests that the term DevSecOps is useful for drawing attention to the need to be more conscious of security in your work, but practically, security should become second nature and integral to operations on every level. Find this useful? Why not follow the link in the description and head over to view the complete course on Pluralsight. And of course, for even more technology goodness, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.